So this is what we are doing. We are just taking the title of what user clicked and we are finding the path and setting the data within the on selection change. So what you can go and do here is you can bind it with the element and while the time the binding is done, you can show a screen where it's refreshing. So not like a standard screen where you will see the data, but it's refreshing. So that is one of the change where you can basically go ahead and try. The other thing is when you can see here that if I change my selection, let me go and navigate to the bottom part and I go to the first tab here, I'm still in the bottom page. So what if we can change this entire subsection and bring it to the top? So that is one of the improvement which can be also performed. And um, the way you do it is still you have to figure it out and think for yourself because that is why like we have uh, tried to put it in the GitHub. You experiment and try with that and if the final application which we bring together is much better then we'll merge it. Okay, what are the other option or things which we have performed here as well? Most of the data, the images you can see are coming directly from our platform, but there are some of the images still present in IMG and here we have the kickoff and the have seen logo, some of the images are still present in the application, but most of the images are coming from our platform itself. So this is about the controller and the views and um, if you talk about some of the improvement which I think what can be the points to extend on is making the model much better. What I have seen is if I add a lot of courses now on top of it then somehow the entire application becomes a little sluggish and also the entire model gives an error because at the time when it is getting binded I'm trying to read the data for example what I'm saying is in the detail controller you can see that I am reading a model here at line number 28 this is important because the model is going to hold about 2000 lines of JSON data and when initially the app is loading and the control comes to line number 27 at the time the model might not have all the data and at line 28 you are trying to read a particular array property from that model now there are callback mechanism within ui5 where you can see if the metadata has been loaded of the model then do some activity which we saw in the previous coding of web id section as well but for the json model we don't have functionality available so you don't have the functionality of get metadata or you don't have the functionality also for attach even for first time so how will you solve that problem so that is one of the challenge what we are going to also improve and work on in this application so what i'm trying to do at this point is basically bind the data to the model in my on before rendering part here so this is how the entire application is made a glimpse and walkthrough